All right, it's Chris for Otanka hunting a field. Today we're gonna go through my typical shooting practice and do exactly what I do here on video so you can see we had some more questions based on the last video. I'm gonna use the Spore Revolver 357 Ultra Dot Gen 2 30 millimeter 2 MOA dot. And uh, we'll start with some freehand and then we'll work into some prone. What we got is we got eight inch target at 50, 70, and 106. There's a raccoon at the center core of it's about nine, 10 inches. A little bigger target so it shows up on the GoPro camera. So hopefully you can pick up something from this and you'll see exactly how I practice the grade in the field. Jesus. Today you saw me do my freehand practice. Freehand is the most difficult form of shooting to do with a handgun, or with any gun for that matter. Uh, but you have to practice it or you're going to fail in the field. In the West, I find myself having to shoot this way often, doing spot and stalk type hunting. And it's very important that I know what my limitations are doing so. And the only way to find those out is through practice. Today you saw me in the standing, shooting at the 50 and the 70 yard target. And then due to the wind shaking me around so much, at the 106 I had to go into double kneeling. The lower you get, the more stable you'll be even in perfect conditions and the wind is even more important so that double kneeling gave him the stability to hit the 106 yard target so you've got to practice this stuff you've seen plenty of videos of me shooting supported it was time to give you a little freehand shooting you'll notice when i'm in my positions i'm not doing the extreme forward lean like i would do when i'm uh, action shooting and stuff i'm not trying to fight that gun down i'm more letting the gun roll so i'm in a more vertical stance in all of it uh, it works for me it might not work for you those are things you got to experiment with to figure out the equipment we we're using today to go over that real quick here, Spore Revolver. I've been shooting it for about a month. You saw me on the Texas hunt with it. You saw some earlier reviews. Uh, in those reviews, I said I was going to lighten the trigger just a little bit to get it right where I wanted it. Actually, after getting a, oh, 150-ish rounds through there, it's broken into the point now where I don't need to do a thing. This gun's basically ready to go out of the box. It just needs a little bit of break-in period shooting, and it is just right there and ready to go. Accuracy is phenomenal. I can't say enough about that. Um, they have uh, some nil grips getting ready to come out. Uh, Nil's a European company that makes handgun grips. They have an extended version that will replace this Hogue grip. If you can see here, this Hogue doesn't quite fit this gun. The, the metal frame arches out of the back. Um, when those get here, they'll be replacing this, and I should have the next Spore, the second Spore revolver in hand sometime in April. Hopefully I'll grips for that too. Thomas Spore, if you're watching this, hurry and get your 44 Magnum done so I can hunt with it. I need that. Uh, the rim fire won't hurt either. Um, on my sighting system, Ultra Dot Gen 2, 30 millimeter, 2 MOA. For some reason, Heather Roach at Ultra Dot listened to me a couple years ago and made this. Absolutely my favorite sight. Glass is clear. The dot doesn't get distorted in the sunlight at all. Two minute dot is perfect for holding on game. Um, so a two minute dot at 100 yards covers two inches. At 200 yards covers four inches. So if I mean, that's smaller than all of your vital zones on animals. There's no problem holding that on game. And, uh, and for range compensation, they do make dial models. The way I use most of my dots is I know my dot size. I know my target size, my back to brisket measurement, or at least roughly what it is. And I know my range. I can estimate and hold the way I need to with this. That's how I made the 220 yard elk shot this year. Um, and some of my other shots on game this year with the handgun is I use my dot and my known target size to do my hold. Uh, cutting edge bullets, the uh, 105 handgun wrappers, they shoot amazing. We know they kill, you've seen videos, or not videos, you've seen blog posts on that. You've seen my reports on those, on how they're taking game out. Uh, when you're looking at them accuracy wise, uh, in, in the extreme long range rifle shooting stuff, everyone who's winning is shooting cutting edge bullets. That same precision goes into them making handgun bullets. Should be no doubt left in your mind on what's gonna work great as far as accuracy goes. And we're seeing all kinds of proof now as far as how they do killing game. Uh, I can't say enough good about those either. When I put all these things together, I'm making one heck of a system and say, once again, I can't wait for the 44 to get here and I'm gonna set it up the same way. The only thing we're gonna change is run a 200 grain handgun wrapper in there from cutting edge. And we're gonna take game with it. And I just can't wait to get my hands on it. Thanks for watching. 
hopefully this helps. Hopefully this answers some questions from the last video. And hopefully we uh, keep bringing you some more good content and help you become a better handgun hunter. If you have any questions, you can always email me at handgunhuntingafield at gmail.com.